Greetings, guys. Apollo Creed here. Voice of the common man. Hope you're all well. Big love and respect to all my likers, sharers, commenters and subscribers. New and old. Yous are the real. Spreading the word of the common man. Big love and big respect to each and every one of you. All right. <laughs> this is a message for Dan Dan the Can Man. Hey. Eh? Dan Dan the Can Man. Fight and talk, hey. Eh? What's your game, lad, eh? Saw you made the video about me. Seem all frustrated and butthurt. Talking about views and stuff like that. What are you talking about, mate? Eh? I don't even talk about views. I'm not even like you. I'm not a beg. Begging for subs, views and all of that stuff like you do, mate. See? Eh? I just leave it up to the people. And I get far more than you anyway, you fool. Your channel's baked. What are you talking about, lad? See the nonsensical stuff you come out with like a little jealous freak, eh? Another one. Look, Dan, mate, you're a state. You're an absolute state. Look at the state of you, mate. Hard carrying and, and then paying all your money to your dealer on a weekend, eh? You're pathetic. You look wasted, mate. You look about 70. Listen, eh? You can't fight. There's nothing about you. You've got no reputation. You're not even liked in the BKB world. You have to pay fight. A hundred quid to get an interview with them. You're that sad, okay? You got butt hurt about me when Lee Marvin Hitchman, hey, eh, did a podcast with me and got in touch with you, eh? You were you were crying, weren't you, to people saying, "Oh, Lee messaged me and said I should be more like Apollo and interact more and stuff like that." And you got butt hurt about it. And you're meant to be an interviewer, mate. Eh? That was my first one. You pathetic. You got jealous and butt hurt, lad. And listen, all right, you're a sick man. Hey, you're a sick man. You're a bacon enabler. You are. You defend them. You defend them, and you've got a daughter as well. You're pathetic, mate. There's nothing about you. You're a joke. And if you go up there on the thirtieth, I can't wait for that, mate. I can't wait for that. You can't fight sleep, lad. Are you a joke? Hey, what are you on, lad? What gear are you on? Because you can tell you are. And listen, you said in your video that I was disgusting. And everybody thought it was disgusting that I had a woman who was on my live, who was the mother of a groomed girl. And she came on my live to tell her story after, okay, those sickos paraded a 17-year-old minor on their over-18s channels making up and being forced to say stuff by groomers, okay. And you think it's sick that the mother came and retaliated on my channel again, that's bacon enabling. You didn't want the mother to speak out. What is your game in all of this, eh? Fight and talk, eh? But we all know about you in hotel rooms, don't we? Eh? Eh? So shut your mouth, you little flea. You little cockroach. All right? And just go and do what you say you're going to do on the 30th, lad, eh? And we'll see what'll happen. All right? <laughs> Respect and peace out, people. Eh? A man thinking it's sick to have a mother on a live to retaliate about what's being done about a daughter. You are sick, mate. You are sick.